We be floating on sound. We be dancing on air pockets. We be diving through body waves. We be moving like beat rockets. We be having happy feet and liquid limbs with reflexes like Slim Jims. We be having eardrums, breaking down tracks like computer software, feeling tertiary rhythms and primary beats in every strand of body hair. You couldn't touch my style if you were a supervillain with eight hands, my legs spinning through the air like Spider-Man. I rock scullies in the hardwood floors of high school gyms while battle gears in Adidas tracksuit and I'll kill you with tin air flares. Some up rockin' James Brown, hit you with some Grandmaster Kaz and leave you with punks jump up to get beat down. This devotion is serious. This is passion, not a pastime. This is underground all-stars who live, eat, and breathe this with head spins coming out their nose, kicking out shamrocks, and they just found a pot of gold. I meditate on hi-hats and concentrate on snares, isolating fingertips while frozen in air chairs. Our bodies speak chronicles like a manuscript for life. And when our limbs communicate the sound, we become a moving masterpiece so universally profound. Because we be moving into creation, and we be moving like, we be moving like, we be moving like this. Uh, I'm sorry, I write a lot of things about, about love. Um, and I've been said, you know, something's been said to me that, you know, write a lot of poems that are not very positive about men. So um, <laughs> I would do a poem that's positive about men. All right. Uh, that's OK. <laughs> um, I just got over the flu, so hopefully my uh, brain is working with me today. Um, your hands speak volumes, strength in the tip and bend. Chaos squirming in your palm. Your laugh is the music that tames the impossible and shakes the wild free from its confusion. Even in your insecurity, you are fearless. We fawn all over your aura. We drink in you. I drink in you. I drown in you. Shaped by your ambitions, I've been catapulted into immediacy. I cannot kiss you enough. I sketch your cheeks in, in my dreams. I curl into your chest like fire in the cold. You are navy blues and vivid greens. You are the touch beneath, holding me together at the scenes. Stitches undone, now sewn into a belief in imagination seas that drains like Niagara Falls to the tender gaps in your fingers. Were I a bone, mobile at the base of your wrists, I would network with as many lifelines as there are stars and reach out into the darkness and guide armies of the lost and fold them into the crook of my elbow like a basket of memories and maybes, resting in the winter warmth of your Buddha like the most comfortable enlightenment. I'm enlightened by you. Your presence is a match in the dark work of a world that suffocates me and crowds my lungs with fantastic, fantastically twisted journeys and misadventures. But you are like roads untraveled, so I wish I were Kerouac or a compass, constantly pointing in your direction, like a grain of sand nestled beneath your nail bed, graciously falling next to your pillow, waiting while you lucidly dream. So close, I'm always an inch from your fingertips. How sweet. See, I do like men. Not, well, not this time. <laughs> <clears throat> this poem begins in the memory of a little girl at a windowsill who wants to fall out. As I imagine myself on the ground evaporating into the trees, I reach beyond the screams in my heart and I realize the very idea of you was getting in my way. You who wanted to sit and watch my confusion, eluding that you love me when you hated yourself. You who wanted to sit and watch as each shake and each turn of my mentally abused spirit strengthen my voice to say fuck you for not knowing who you are, for doubting your own magnificence, 
for creating a world of demented fantasies and fucked up dreams as my needs cream with affection I've become an emotional nympho and you can't even get an erection dismiss my passion like love's breath in the middle of the night on my cold back in a frozen bed because you made my thoughts frigid fucked me cause making love to me would have been too easy and life too comfortable perpetually unbalanced you pride yourself on not being led by your phallus but your heart bleeds callousness born out of scenes your own semi hidden mind boggling shallowness and dare I ask you why so you can shit out the what's and when's when it was then that I finally knew you and what you were afraid to do you the afraid to change you the afraid to stay the same but you ultimately just the afraid so even from that first night when I looked into your eyes and said what I described you secretly knew the winds were as wise you couldn't love me you weren't free so on this ground I script sounds you can only fear hieroglyph my love letters beyond your atmosphere take back my innocence from you like some gun toting gang raped mouseketeer rename myself a virgin because you never truly touched me I only feigned ecstasy to support your distorted images of male supremacy trying to paralyze this gift in me to be the sun touched child of Jah pressing the manuscript of Toni Morrison and saying Kofa I'm reaching for the stars trying to recreate some unified sense of Umoja because music runs easy for me because I am a poetess deity I was reading about African kings and queens before Shakespeare was even in my memory and it was then that I devised a strategy for love before I even knew what a classical actor was but I pressed my tears into my cheeks and I beat into my lips sobs of recognition as I see my feet for the first time grounded in measure to embark on a spiritual journey that got nothing to do with Christ but the God in me so I'm finally breaking the bonds of self-doubt and fascination with my newly created imagination, masturbating in the sensation of me. Let me say that more obnoxiously and more conceitedly, because guess the fuck what? I love me. Yeah. So I'm finally breaking the bonds of self-doubt and fascination with my newly created imagination, masturbating in the sensation of me. Yeah, like me meeting me with destiny. We're blowing up spots in three-part harmony where me, myself, and I cry about who I thought I was. Was in the ships with chains at my feet and at my wrist, offering sobs with every hip because I knew these bonds wasn't it. I was a piece of God's magnificence, kneeling on the right side of where Buddha sits and as the guardian of saints and souls, I would become Moses and gather my people and show them what they would not see in their own heavenly prophecy see God is in the trees and God is in weeping willow leaves but ultimately God is in me and I will let no man put asunder what only God can take away from me so when I fell in love with spoken word and poetry, um, I fell in love with poetry before I fell in love with spoken word. Um, my dad made me read. There, I wrote this poem, and um, yeah, I'm gonna let it speak for itself. <laughs> um, one night, I dreamed I was a writer. That I could pluck silver verse from my brain like pomegranate seed. Decide to be true to the who in myself and sing pink melodies which are familiar when falling from my royal tongue. Tonight, I am a writer. I am peach blossoms in June on the tip of your tongue. I am watermelon without the seeds. I'm fried chicken all the time. I'm sitting in it and letting it hang out, flop out, fall out. I'm proposed prose in a primrose poet's nose. I'm four verse filled folios. I'm orange hues falling on heated dews, kissing my paragraphs and renewing my views. And the sensations around my indentations parted by your commas and my inspirations when mango lies between my lips and your body falls beside my hips. Exhausted and exasperated from 14 fortified trips. And as you sip, I grip, shouting and quivering Quickening your tipsy, one never knows how a poem will flow on free based prose falling from a primrose actor's nose in a one woman show. Am I a writer if I speak with my thoughts? Or am I a writer if I speak with my words? Am I a writer if I don't tell you and you and you the reality of this situation? Am I a writer if my verse falls from trees that branches out in syllables and erodes conjugations with verbs and sentences that roots its exclamations in herbs? Is it a muse if it left you without words? Sign language gesturing in the absurd, hooking up with brothers who speak in the third person and respond to everything with words. 
Word. Word. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Right, nigga. <laughs> well, if you use nigga, I ain't one, because you guys need to remember where a lynch mob came from before you go calling your so-called rap group one, because that shit sound dumb, dumb, dumb if you ain't fitting to get the sum, sum, sum who put your mother and daughter under the gun, gun, gun. Now, can you say word, word, word? Am I a writer if my mind's cascading in polytheistic moods, shading my personality in paper bag hues? If I'm mixed, do I pay dues to society? Because my parents were never actually on trial, you see. I'm just a figment of their demented imagination and infatuation. Funny, I thought love could rise above temptation, but I renewed my views to education, forsaken all momentary fears, for the sake of awakening my peers to years and years of creativity. See, I am a writer because poetry captivates me and frees me from mental captivity. Thank you. Wow. Wow.